Hello and welcome to my third video. So in this video, we'll be talking about how to calculate aura effectiveness. Now this is a question I get asked a lot during streams, so I wanted to share about how to calculate it. So usually you look at your aura effectiveness, you go, oh, I have 8% here, I have 8% here, I have 8% here, I have 8% here, but who's going to go through all the trouble of adding it all up? Well, there's a tool that will help you do it. So it's path of building and yeah. Now why is aura effectiveness important? Because there's certain breakpoints we want to reach. So 300% makes it so that we get, so every 100% gives you 1% physical damage reduction per aura. So that's why it's important to reach like 300% or 400% because that gives us the extra physical damage reduction that we would not have if we didn't reach a nice round number of a hundred multiplier. Now there's also like 350% and 375% which are important because 350% gives us a break point for the Necromancer because 3.5 times 2 is 7. And then 375% allows us to use a level 20 purity. So a level 20 purity, where is it? So a level 20 purity gives us 4% additional maximum cold res and 4 times 3.75 happens to be 15. So this means we don't need to get a level 21 purity and we don't need to put it in a plus 2. So that is a huge break point. And 300% is also a big break point because that's when we can get 90% resist with a level 23 purity, which is a level 21 and a plus 2. So mainly like people want to know break points because it is a key part of our defense and offense. It's our defense in terms of physical damage reduction and maximum resist and offense in terms of attack and cast speed. And generally just uh, multiplying our all our offensive auras. So now you can go into here, Path of Building Community Fork. So I'll leave a link on this in the description about how to download it or where to download it. So here you go into calcs and you go to select an aura. So right here is, is where you select the aura. And here is where the aura effectiveness shows. So this says 3.95. And it actually breaks it all down about where the aura effectiveness comes from. And here you can see this is actually only 3.95 for this skill gem or aura gem wrath. Because of Vengeful Commander. So you can see how it says 20% increase for the skills. So this is not your true aura effectiveness for all skills. So we're going to go look at something that doesn't have Vengeful Commander boosting the aura effectiveness. So this is 3.35. Now you're like, oh, I have 335%. I'm kind of off a little bit. Well, you are off a little bit because this calculation here does not include Purposeful Harbingers. Now Purposeful Harbingers are these nodes on the tree. Where is it? showed on my tree. So this node right here says aura buffs from skills have 8% increased effect on you for each herald affecting you up to 40%. So right now I'm currently using three heralds on my character. So that means I'm capped out on the purposeful harbinger. So I would have 40% added on top of this 335%. So this would actually be 375% if you have three heralds and two purposeful harbingers. And you have two heralds and two purposeful harbingers is eight times two, 16 times two for the two uh, nodes you have. So it's 32%. Now, most people here will probably be running two heralds and two purposeful. So you can try to add 32% onto that. So 367% is the final calculation for this. Now, another thing that you might run into a trouble with while using this is you need to set your Glorious Vanity. So I have a Glorious Vanity here. So normally, like, Path of Building won't actually set these nodes. I, I manually went into here and typed in Commanding Presence. So here, you have Commanding Presence. So. And now you can set it to, like, whatever it is. And then, like, here, you have if you have Travel Points that gives increased effect, you have to go here, look up Aura Effect, and then manually adjust it like that so you can go through set all the nodes so like yeah i'm trying to copy what i have on my tree five percent here so i go into path of building and do that so basically that's about it for how to calculate aura effectiveness like you can set your own glorious vanity 
and you can see the full breakdown about what is actually giving you aura effectiveness and what might not be. But remember to add in the Purposeful Harbinger, it is not included in here. So don't get discouraged when you see that your aura effectiveness is only 300% here. It's actually a lot higher if you're running any Heralds. And let's see, so I just set up a new Discord, so any subs can come in here and ask me any questions and trying to set up a FAQ where I link all of the tools. So here's where you'll find how to download like Path of Building or find Glorious Vanity numbers for your build. But anyhow, that should be it for me. Uh, hopefully this helped you out in trying to figure out your aura effectiveness because it's very important to reach the breakpoints. It's literally a huge difference in terms of survivability having like 90% or 87% resist. Anyhow, that will be it for me. I'll see you in the next video.